At the turning of the century, I was a boy of five. Me father went to fight the Boers, and he never came back alive. Oh, me mother was left to bring us up, and no charity she'd seek. So she washed and scrubbed and scraped along on seven and six a week. When I was twelve, I left the school, and I went to find a job. And with growing kids, me ma was glad of the extra couple of bob. I'm sure that longer schooling would have stood me in good stead. But you can't afford refinements when you're struggling for your bread. And when the Great War came along, I didn't hesitate. I took the royal shilling and went off to do me bit. We fought in mud and tears and blood, three years or thereabout. Till I copped some gas in Flanders and was invalided out. And when the war was over and we'd finished with the guns, we got back in the civvies because we thought the fighting done. We'd won the right to live in peace, but we didn't have such luck. But soon we found we had to fight for the right to go to work. In 26, the general strike saw me out on the streets. And I had a wife and kids by then, and their needs I had to meet. Oh, the brave new world was coming, and the brotherhood of man. And when the strike was over, we were back where we began. Oh, I struggled through the 30s, out of work now and again. I saw the black shirts marching, and the things they did in Spain. I brought me kids up decent, and I thought them wrong from right. Oh, but Hitler was the boy that came, and he taught them how to fight. My daughter was a land girl. She got married to a Yank. And they gave me son a medal for stopping one of Rommel's tanks. He was wounded just before the end, and he convalesced in Rome. And he went and married an Italian nurse, and he never bothered to come home. Oh, my daughter writes me once a month a cheerful little note about their coloured tellies and the other things they've got. They've got a son, a likely lad. He's nearly 21. But they tell me now he's being called up to fight in Vietnam. Oh, we're living on the pension now, and it doesn't go too far. Not much to show for a life that seems like one long bloody war. And when you think of all the wasted lives, it makes you want to cry. I'm not sure how to change things, but by Christ, we'll have to try.